thought <laughs> we thought we'd have a look at this Etrusco. Yeah, go on then. Go on. Oh, oh my. Poppy. This is different. What? Sorry, come here, Pops. Go on. You should get up there. You do that? This is a test for Poppy. There yeah, she goes. <laughs> she's in. Right. So this is a different layout. Thanks. Start at the back. Again, a little wet room. <laughs> You're going to find that in small vans. And this has got a pull out sink, and the shower area is here. Quite a huge cut off on this bed, but it's quite wide that end, which is unusual. So, I mean, that's not particularly. Oh, is that four foot two or something like something that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and it's probably more like close to five foot six at the other end. But uh, you could always get uh, a straight to sleep uh, fitment there if that bothers you. Massive wardrobe. Yeah, that's good. You've got quite a few cupboards as well, haven't you? A load of cupboards, yeah. yeah. They're quite big ones as well. Quite deep, tall. I mean, they are a, a budget van, a, a Trusco, but. Andrew Ditton borrowed one, didn't he? Yeah. When they first came out. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't this one, but a similar colour scheme. I seem to remember. Yeah, two travel seats. Quite a large table. That seems to be. Well, it's not a fold-up one, is it? So. No. I think your table's there or not. Yeah. That probably goes in the wardrobe when you're not using yeah, it. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it's a six-speed manual. This is one owner. I can't think how much it was. Can you read that backwards? 50,000 something? No, it's, no, that's the just, sold. It just says bit. sold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 62. But was it? Yeah, not quite check. like this. Quite, quite good. It's because there's a lot of white in here. It feels quite, um, quite spacious, open and spacious, doesn't it? Yeah. They've even got a, you know, they've even got a um, extractor fan, the domestic yeah, extractor yeah, fan. I don't know what the three burner. Yeah, it's quite nice, Thetford. Yeah, combi, com, uh, duplex, triplex. I always say triplex. So it's Thetford duplex. And a little Thetford fridge. And a little Thetford fridge and sink. Ah, got my finger stuck. <laughs> Oh, sorry, so <laughs> sorry, Blaze. Trouble yeah, with Yeah, similar to the new Evo yeah. fridge, isn't it? Yeah. And if, in case you're wondering, we have asked about Poppy coming in. Yeah. But sorry for her, I think, getting yeah. wet. Yeah. yeah. So what's in the... That'll be your TV, wouldn't that, this, you mean? Yeah. You'll find. Yeah. All oh, right, so the bracket in there. Nice, neatly tucked away. Yeah. Yeah, they're worth having a look at, aren't they? Yeah. The mm. ones. Yeah. The, well, they've sort of fitted things. They put the Truma thing Truma. there in one plug. Yeah. Another cupboard down here. Managed to get another cupboard in there. Yeah. I don't know where there's any more plugs anywhere. No. <laughs> it's the only one at the moment. Yeah. I can't see any. Yeah. There's nothing under. What's that under there? No, just switches. All right. No, I'm seeing. Seems a bit mean uh, with the, uh, the main sockets. Probably end up with a load of training leads everywhere, wouldn't you? But yeah, I quite like things like that. It's got a little cubby hole. So you can probably put your clothes in there. At the back. It's like a little cubby hole at the back there. Yeah, it's strange just having one plug, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose you could you could whack your power bank there and, <laughs> yeah, and work right. off that. I've got a USB over there. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. And it's curtains. No cab blinds, I no, don't think, no. No, no cab blinds. You could take your hood down whilst you're indoors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared for when I go out there again. Oh dear. There's a little eldest opposite. Okay. Quite a way down this is. You'll have to help Poppy down, I think. Yeah. That's what I didn't like, there was that double step. You ready, Pops? Just grab her. 
Yeah. It's, uh, you've got to do that. Yeah. Then you've got to do, get down on the other one. Yeah. Never particularly like that. No. Right. Okay. Right, go over here. Well, if you go for something like this, a little eldest, it's yeah. quite low anyway. Yeah, that's right. Rather than having to climb up there. Yeah, and the the di that's the difference. That's on a chassis cab. Yeah. This is on a, a low chassis, probably an Alco chassis, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this. It's a little bit of an older one. 13 plate. So this is a Swift Bolero. We had a Swift Bolero, not this model. This is 44,995. And it's just over 7 metres. So it's down 27,000 miles, so it's nothing really. That's your LPG locker there. Got a under seat locker here. There's your water filling point. And it's got nice things like it's got twin reversing cameras, rear view camera, reversing camera. It's Alder heating, so it's the wet central heating type thing. Two forty volts. Your fridge is on this side. Your toilet's up the front there. It's a one thirty brake horsepower Fiat Multi Jet. Steel wheels. Okay. I quite like this. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look. It's very caravan like at the back. Yeah, it's quite spacious, isn't it? It feels quite yeah, spacious. Yeah, it's just in here. over seven metres, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's not not a wrap, wrap it's, Yeah, it's like a caravan at the back, yeah, isn't it? You've it got is. the centre. Yeah, so thing that's there. probably a table, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's very caravan. Yeah, and then your drawers. <laughs> drawers. Uh, lots of cupboards around yeah. here. I often say that uh, rear lounges like this are often where people have come from caravans and they want something they're familiar with. Yeah. So having a rear lounge like this. Quite I mean, good. whether it's long enough to sleep on or no, it could you pull, be. You pull it, it, could it out. Be. It could be. You could always pull it out there. Yeah. But you know, it's got. I think it's got nice things on it. I mean, Bolero was always fully specced. It's got speakers at the back. Yeah. Sunroof there. Big lockers. You. I remember that, we had that, don't we? The yeah. Plates. plates. Then you've got all the cupboards here. This has got a microwave in it, more cupboards here. Get a lot more space once you go up to seven metres. So this, this having, a, having a kitchen like this, yeah. you can easily get to these cupboards, or I can, with ours that sticks out. Sometimes it's, it's hard to a reach. bit awkward to get into some of these. Yeah. God, this must be an antique, this... So no, you, think, you think that's an antique? That should be in the museum, like us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. Cupboards underneath. This yes, looks all right, no, perhaps. That knob was on the on position. Oh, my. I hopefully they've got the gas switched off. That looks reasonable, doesn't it? Not overused. No, no. Well, it's not done many miles. only done 27,000 miles. Oh, is it? Yeah. 13, so 2013, so it's 10 years old. Yeah, it's nice. Look at the bridge for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's very shiny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look in here, Pops. Mind your back. Wow. That's it, yeah. Oh, it's good. Coming through, Pops. And this? Hang on. Oh, you're still looking in there. Still looking at the massive fridge. Yeah, which we, we still miss that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So that's not bad, is it? Yeah, I think you've got some sort of heating or something in there. You've got somewhere to put your table. There's your hanging space. That's all good. Yeah. No, I think this would make a really nice two berth. I wonder what that's. Is there another cushion in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Might be for another van even. Yeah. Maybe you need it for making up the bed or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, I think things like this. Two main sockets there. Got your splashback panel. What's going on over here then? Cause it just seems to be a couple of shelves. Okay. Then you've got your cab area. It's got a rear view uh, camera Stop there. The Both seats swivel, which is not always the case when you get this with the front washroom 
area here. Six speed, I've got the original uh, radio. I think we had that on our original Bolero, didn't that one? Did we? Can't remember. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, here's the washroom. Oh, that was quite good. Yeah, no, this is a washroom, it's not a wet room. So, sink, big mirror, frosted glass, TV, uh, TV, toilet on the floor, and like a beam me up Scotty cubicle shower. I quite like that. I quite like oh, this full oh. stop, don't fall out. Yeah, that's the thing you've got to be careful of. Will that door open? Yeah, that you slip back in the and You step. don't slip backwards, wow. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Stop Poppy, it. please. I suppose normally the door would be shut, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you like it in here. Do you not like it in here then, Pot? No! <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. Quite nice. So we've got a Chausson, Chausson, 610. Uh, 2017, license friendly, 6.69 metres long on a Ford cab. Low profile awning on this side. Obviously, it's continental van, so the doors on the driver's side. Have a look inside. Yeah. You come so in or not? L shaped lounge. And fold up table. Oh, the seats are. Blimey, those seats are a long way down. <laughs> what that? Don't know. No, you stay off the furniture pots. Yeah. Fold up table. Sorry. Go on. Oh, blimey, that seat is a long way down. Yes, it is. I don't know why. It's on a manual Ford, this one. In fact, got an add on Sony unit there. Load of space up the top there. Probably put your bedding up there. Not a thought. Yeah. What's it like at the back? Well, it's very much like. Well, it's reminding me of the Adama 69 Ford. Okay. Um, I think it's this is quite an older van, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. You've got a, sl a slidey thing. Door, yeah. You've got a toilet, you've got the shower. Yeah. But then, yeah, with two things, it's a nice big shower. And I assume this is a okay. massive... Let's have a look, I'll swap you. Yeah, we'll go and look over here. Yeah. <laughs> got the uh, sponge to stop the telly banging against the uh, cupboard there. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Three. Doesn't appear to be an oven unless I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. Turn a around. Tiny, thing tiny up little there. thing up there. But you've got a massive fridge. Yeah. You know, a know. Load, of, load of freezer space. You could put. You've got a tiny oven. I don't understand that. Never mind. But nice washroom. Yeah, so. Sink. Toilet on a sensible floor level. Quite a big mirror. I assume there's cupboards in there. Oh yeah. Oh, it, so it is. It's just like the '69 Ford. You've got this massive, massive cupboard, cupboard at the don't back. you? Yeah. yeah. I just, I thought it thought was a really good idea. It's the first time we saw that when we saw that Bailey have that. But obviously the Chausson, Chausson, got here first. They're amazing what you could put in there. Yeah, and you've got a garage underneath as well. It's just such a good idea. Um, you've got storage for things that you need to get at in there and mm. obviously in the garage yeah and you've got a nice flat floored twin drain holes shower oh, it's a good layout mm. it is. it's opposite way around to what the 69 falls yeah isn't it? yeah because it's a continental van yeah of course you've got your drop down bed yeah that doesn't look that wide but no don't know how far it comes down. It's it got does, a hole. There's no cut off on it. 
No, no that's, that's all right. I mean, this the rail looks like it goes down to there. Yeah, so it should come down a fair way. Obviously, you could, your tables must be electric if it goes up and down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Mm. <coughs> Stop oh. it. Yeah, no, quite like this. Mm. Got a couple of USBs up there. Yeah, yeah. Impressive looking uh, control panel thing. It's diesel heating, isn't it? It's a Wabasso heater, yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. Oh. I'm going, Pops. Camper Hill and, uh, and Caravanning Club there. Lots of camper vans here. I'm always a, a little bit loath to look at camper vans. I <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about, Norman. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Adamas, oh, sun, sun's coming out. Okay. Shall I have a look at this on my own? I think it's open. Yeah. Yeah. So this is 69.4. The one we borrowed, oh, not, it's not, don't think it's the one we borrowed, but like the one we borrowed. So this is 694, 72,994. This is Perman Briggs Motorhomes. So there's some specs on the, the thing here. It's a four berth, uh, it's 160 brake horsepower, Ford engine, 3,500, license friendly. Uh, it's 6.9 meters long, so just under seven meters. This comes with a 36 month warranty and full PDI. An option for bed kit to increase to four berth. <laughs> oh, grief. Ask about show offers this weekend. Okay. There we go. Broken. Uh, broken bin. That's broken good bin. Start. That's a good start. Obviously, people being in here. Oh, it must be dreadful. They have to be cleaning this for the. I mean, the thing that always struck us when we went in the Adamos before was the amount of space you feel, particularly with this mm. one, because you've got this great big long sofa here, and the table, it sort of, it looks, it feels small in this lounge. Yeah. It's, it's such a good yeah, lounge. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, this was, you know, it was seriously on our consideration, this, if we were going to get something slightly smaller. Yes. And it, it, I don't, I, I don't want to criticise the show song, but this feels bigger inside. It does, yeah. Well, that had the, uh, that was an older model, I think, and it had like the, the travel seats. Yeah. Together, whereas this, they're under the sofa, aren't they? That's right. Yeah. And so they are very comfortable travel seats. Yeah, they, they are excellent. They, so they're, they're both under there somewhere. Yeah. And we really enjoyed our time with that. The bed. That's the drop down bed there. The bed comes down low enough for Jenny to get in on With a, a little step. stool. They had a little stool that was yeah. fine then. Yeah. You know, you got. Kitchen was lovely. I did, did like that. Yeah. You know, full cooker, grill, oven. Lots of cupboard space in this kitchen. I mean, you can have a microwave in here, but you know, to be honest, I don't know. I probably probably bring a microwave with me, leave it in the garage, and use it when you need it. You could do that, yeah. 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 Rather than you losing all that cupboard, cupboard space. Cupboard space, carrying it around. I suppose that's as broad as it's long, though, isn't it? Really. You've got the controls here. It brings back memories. And yeah. It's a great big fridge. It's yeah. The fridge was really good. The fridge was good. Efficient, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's your freezer compartment. TV point in there. So you can watch TV in bed. And, and it was a comfortable bed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we tried to leave our bedding up there, but it we got condensation, didn't we? Because yeah. it's November. Yeah. But, uh, Interesting thing about this one is this is on a manual. I didn't know oh, they did it? them on manuals. I thought they were all automatic. Oh. Perhaps okay. there's an option now. Well, this is not new, is it? This one. Yeah, it's a 2023. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Because it's got if, um, something you haven't noticed, but yeah. so it's got the cab lines. Oh yeah, yeah. The one we had didn't have any cab lines, so it's got the, the Remis cab lines there. And they're the slide across ones. The rear view camera, which we didn't have. Just got the basic Ford radio, but you can get you know you can get that upgraded. Hmm. So this is a new one. I thought I was thinking it was a used. No, one. it no. says 2023. Okay. Okay. Try the uh, door to the bathroom, washroom. This is what we struggled with. This door here, because it, it's quite, oh, it's quite a lot of door there, and it still feels. And they've put a little cut out there now to help you slide it back. It slides all right. Does it? It does slide all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we had sort of one of the first ones. And yeah. It? Yeah. It was always catching there, you know, and you pulled it. It's a little bit stiff there, but no, that's good, it's closed. And it doesn't catch. And you've got a little clip there, clip it in. The thing about this one was the twin drain holes. The old one, they, it, well, the lip of the shower was too low. It looks like they've raised it here. Yeah, it's all right. And yeah, got a little clip there to oh. secure the door, which our one didn't have. That gives you access to the somewhat narrow garage, but you know, it's it's okay. I think you can get a, a, a bike in there. Of course, this is the thing that we really liked, is this massive cupboard. That's three, three levels of storage at the back and all this space here. No, really good. I still, like I say, we're still rather taken with this. Toilet on, a, on the floor, not on a silly plinth reasonable wash basin it wasn't too bad I don't remember how this opens it's a catch under there there we are yeah brings back memories it does yeah it yeah. was the space in here wasn't it yeah. I mean, that's six people in didn't we and it yeah. didn't feel like it was cramped because you make that table up into a, a long one yeah. can't you obviously this folds out yeah, you've got away, a massive but table. But most of the time you're going to use it like that. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I think it was our favourite so far. So far, yeah. It's got a little storage area there as well. And there, we'll look around the outside in a minute. And you've got your whale filling point, the toilet emptying point. Can't get in that side. Oh, dear pots, that's no good, is it? <laughs> Bike rack and rear view camera. Oh, I just what? Where are they here? Yeah, they've locked that. But yeah, you've got a, like a tall locker there as well. All right, puppy. All right, come on. I'm really disappointed. They've still got the. They've still not brought the pipe out there. I think it's still the empty point is way under the van so you have to judge it particularly if you've got um, manhole type covers so it's a bit of a guesswork it's all right with drive over grates no it's quite good with them really yeah it works very well with you those. just pull that and it just goes blosh yeah did you manage to use you know we were on a service pitch with the 75 40 yeah, you but you see your, you've got you're, you've you got to go underneath you've got to go, to go un get underneath yeah. And if the weather was a bit like this... You don't want to be doing that. You wouldn't want to be doing that, no. No. No, that's disappointing, that. I thought they were going to fix that. They told me they were going to fix that. It's in the. It's on the website as being a... Well, it's, all it says is fixed, fixed pipe drainage. It, it could oh, be true. Yeah, yeah. It didn't right. say where the fixed pipe was. No, no. 
but then a lot of the Fords are like that. The yeah, the Chausson's the same. Yeah, is the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you could live with that. And that might be a van for you. Pearman Briggs. Pearman Briggs, rather. And they're just chatting to the sales guy here. And he was saying that what they're doing now is they're fitting an aftermarket kit, just basically a pipe that would bring it out just to here. So the waste pipe problem is sol solvable, but there is a bit of a wait for the kit, apparently. So come on, Bailey, you can fit that to the vans in the factory. Wouldn't that be easier? Yeah, you can't beat having an eco flow under the sofa. <laughs> when you're off grid. Right, we've had our sandwiches, we've made our coffee. It's now time to find out what they've got in the goodie bag. Obviously you're subscribed to, oh that's a bit battered isn't it? Subscribe to MMM. Which you already do. Which we already do. That's that. A flower bomb order perform. Perform. <laughs> really useful. Of course. It wouldn't yeah. be a show without <laughs> a Roman reference. <laughs> be a mat. <laughs> I didn't manage to do that. Ah, hand sanitizer, always useful. You can see that. You can see, yeah, you can see it, yeah. I suppose it'd help if I moved the coffee out of the way, coffee, wouldn't it, really? Yeah. Hand sanitizer. Uh, a L'Oreal hand sanitizer. <laughs> Another bottle as well. <laughs> and a Garnier hand sanitizer. So you could actually do a review, couldn't you? Yeah, that's right. Should I do a product <laughs> review on hand sanitizers? Yeah. Uh, treats for Poppy. Nude. 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 Complete f nutrition cage-free chicken recipe. And Poppy's not good with chicken, is she? So. No, she's a Westie. More. <laughs> oh no, more sand and sand. No, no, it's uh, oh, the two perfume things. Yeah, you can right. have those. Spice bomb. Ooh. Spice bomb. Um, yeah, foot cream. Foot cream. <laughs> You're always moaning about your feet. Not much in there, is it? Three grams. Um, veggie stock cubes. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. Whoever thought that, that's a good one. <laughs> that might actually be quite useful. Yeah. You can stay in the van. Um, what we've got here, Isle of Wight, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're off to the Isle of Wight, so that's very useful. Caravan, motorhome and camping brakes. Yeah. Good, uh, Orchards, Holiday Park, Waverley Park, Whitefield and Apple, Apple, Apple Durkham. Okay. And some on there. Okay, it's not the one we're going to. Yeah. Three night breaks, mid season, 142 car, 183, uh, 188 car and tent or motorhome, mid season, five night breaks. This one's not bad, is it? No. Isle of Wight. Hello, fresh thingy. And oh, I think about the. Uh, the treats. So there's nothing for us to eat? No, nothing for us to eat. I suppose we could eat poppies. No, I won't fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that disappointment. Oh, well that made you disappoint. I'm going to have my coffee. <laughs> <laughs>